guys, during the mid-2000s, back when I was a bachelor, I used to watch a local access network called The Cat. It was on Channel 29, and for those of you that were lucky enough in the Kent or Cleveland, Ohio area to remember The Cat, well, it was this prolific network that would play a lot of low-budget, public-domain horror movies and TV shows that were mostly forgotten. One in particular TV show that captured my attention was Chuck Connors in The Rifleman. The Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. part I'm not too crazy about American Westerns I think they're kind of fake and boring for the most part especially the John Wayne ones but for some strange reason I really like the rifleman it was violent and you know kind of ahead of the curve back in the day it dealt with subject matter that not a lot of TV shows were daring enough to tackle so that's why that show you know spoke to me anyways Naturally speaking, I pursued a lot of Chuck Connors' work during that era. He even did a spaghetti western called Kill Them All and Come Back Alone. It's a fantastic movie that we are definitely going to be covering on my channel one of these days, but that day is not today. Instead, we're going to be checking out another Chuck Connors movie called The Mad Bomber. This movie is batshit crazy. It makes no sense, and it's exploitation to the 10th power. Uh, back in the day, especially in the 1970s, there were a lot of crime, police-oriented dramas such as this. I haven't watched it in a while now. I've only seen it like twice, but I've been itching to cover it on my channel for quite some time now, so why don't you guys peep that trailer for educational and historical purposes I'm going to go ahead and refresh my memory on the flick, and when we get back, you're going to know my opinion on The Mad Bomber. I want to die. And if I find him, he's going to beg to die. What do you want? I have a warrant for your arrest. What for? Failure to appear in municipal court in regard to traffic citation. Are you kidding? A traffic ticket? What's that guy trying to do? He'll have to come with us. At six in the morning? For a lousy traffic ticket? Like hell I will. thinking about is I want to catch this son of a bitch before he blows up Los Angeles. Women have been used and abused long enough. We are free at last. Free of male domination. It's people like me who make our world filthy. I'm a pig. The day of the male chauvinist is gone. Women are no longer second-class citizens to be looked upon as love objects of men. Now, because of what you have done, it is necessary for me to punish all of society. Yeah, that's him. That is him. You are going to do nothing, understand? Because you have a nice car and I have to walk, that means you own the sidewalk? Common courtesy. It's forgotten these days. 
Okay, so the movie The Mad Bomber is kind of a cold and heartless film. It's about a psychotic cop chasing down a psychotic bomber, and in order to do so, he has to get help from a psychotic rapist. Yeah, that's the plot of this movie, and, you know, the overall narrative to the film is, you know, very bleak. The first time I saw this movie, I thought it was just kind of a low-budget, sleazy exploitation film, but upon seeing it again, I feel like I've, you know, gained a different perspective on this movie a little bit. Sure, all the characters in it are mean-spirited bastards, and it's really hard to relate to anyone on screen with the exception of the victims. The Mad Bomber, played by Chuck Connors, um, you know, his intentions, you know, aren't relatable, but he at least has a motive. His daughter dies of a drug overdose, so the Mad Bomber is going around the city bombing all the people that he blames responsible for his daughter's death. And towards the end of the film, that starts to spiral out of control. It becomes obvious that, you know, the cops are on to him, and he realizes that he's about to be caught. So, you know, his big finale is to just drive a van into a large group of people in a busy part of town and blow it up. So it's kind of a weak ending and not really true to the character from the beginning. One thing I really will say about this movie is that the actors give it their all. I found the movie to be rather engaging and I liked watching, you know, Chuck Connors act a little bit psychotic, you know, in this film. I thought, you know, the lead actor playing the cop did a really good job. And, you know, the guy who plays the sleazy rapist, you know, he was engaging as well. All three of these characters were played by actors who really sold their character. It's just a shame that the overall narrative is just so piss poor. So I can't really recommend the movie The Mad Bomber to, you know, a wider audience unless you're a fan of actor Chuck Connors and you're into 1970s crime exploitation films, then definitely check it out. If not, avoid it like the plague. This is low-budget trash cinema at its finest, in my opinion. I like this movie. And out of 10 stars, I could give The Mad Bomber a solid 6 out of 10.